Is this actually Denny Hamlin's year? And finally, Kevin Harvick to the five car is confirmed. Welcome back to Break Heart. My name is Matt. If you've been a NASCAR fan for over, you know, a decade or so, you remember the Kevin Harvick to the five car rumors that sprouted up around 2016, uh, 2017. During that time, the writer from Front Stretch, Tom Bowles, proclaimed that Kevin Harvick was going to the five car. Multiple sources have indicated to him that he would just slide right into that number five seat, replacing Casey Kane for the 2017 season. At the time, there was, you know, some... Some rumors that Kevin Harvick was disgruntled in his role at Stuart Haas Racing. Of course, he had won a championship with them already. Their switch to Ford apparently didn't sit well with him, being a longtime Chevy guy, and people thought he was going to get out and move. So Tom Bowles, who doesn't go to every race, I don't know if he does anymore, I have no idea, but back then he didn't, and Jeff Gluck took exception to that, and you can still find Jeff Gluck's response at jeffgluck.com. But Tom Bowles went to the garage area and proclaimed that multiple sources have told him that Casey Kane will be replaced by Kevin Harvick. And ultimately, that wasn't true. And a week later, Kevin Harvick signed a long-term deal to stay at Stuart Haas Racing. Whether that's the right move or not, that's up for debate. But Tom Bowles was wrong. We kept the receipts. Of course, you always got to keep receipts. But now, maybe Tom was just ahead of the schedule. Maybe he was just like, oh, eight years from now, this is going to happen. Because now it is confirmed. Kevin Harvick will be on standby for Kevin or Kyle Larson at the NASCAR All-Star Weekend at North Wilkesboro coming up in a couple of weeks. Kyle Larson, of course, has to tend to his Indy 500 duties between practice and qualifying, and the All-Star Weekend is on the same weekend as Indy 500 qualifying. So on Friday, Kevin Harvick will practice and qualify the car for the five team because that, of course, is Fast Friday, and Kyle Larson you know, needs to be in Indianapolis for that, and it's practice and qualifying. Who really cares? Harvick will also be on standby for the heat races on Saturday night if Larson cannot return in time to North Wilkesboro from Indianapolis, where he will attempt to lock himself in to the Indianapolis 500. Assuming that Kyle Larson is in the Fast 12 on Sunday, Harvick will also be on standby for the race. At least that's how it reads in the Hendrick Motorsports press release for it because Kyle Larson if he's in the fast 12 he will of course make a run at pole if he's in the last row shootout meaning that he has to try to lock himself into the Indianapolis 500 he will also have to do that on Sunday as well hopefully that does not happen but if he qualifies anywhere from 13th to 29th well his day is done his weekend's done essentially in Indianapolis he's locked into the race his starting position is what it is and he will return to North Wilkesboro for Sunday night's all-star race but it is cool that Kevin Harvick has this opportunity he said that Rick Hendrick called him up and said hey I need a favor and Kevin said basically anytime he starts off with hey I need a favor your next word is yeah whatever you need and it's cool it's a great opportunity for him obviously we all know that Kevin Harvick has elevated the teams that he's joined whether that be RCR or Stuart Haas Racing that's a guy that should have more than one championship in his career should have more wins than what he has Kevin Harvick's an all-time great of the sport unfortunately he always had to outdrive his equipment and now him getting into top tier equipment obviously we know the five cars one of the best cars in the cup series week in and week out with Cliff Daniels on top of the pit box it's going to be interesting to see what he has to say. And I don't think we'll get a comparison of his, you know, his seat last year at Stuart Haas Racing in the number four car compared to the number five car at Hendrick Motorsports. But it would be interesting to know what the differences are and kind of how the car feels different and whatnot, because this car did absolutely dominate this race last year with Kyle Larson behind the wheel. You know, they're going to come back with a setup just as good. Be interesting to see what Harvick can say. So, Kevin Harvick to the five car is confirmed. Finally, Tom Bowles, time traveler, maybe. Who knows? Moving on to Denny Hamlin. Is this Denny Hamlin's year? Is this finally the year Denny Hamlin breaks through and wins that championship? People on the internet seem to think so. People on the internet want to proclaim that this is Denny's year. Parker Kligerman tweeted out after the race on Sunday, this is Denny's year. I'm not willing to say that yet. I'm actually pumping the brakes super hard. Get the six piston Brembos out. Let's come to a stop real quick here because this has happened before for Denny Hamlin. Let's talk through it real quick. In 2010, he won three races in the first 11 races of the season. Finished second in the points to Jimmy Johnson at Homestead. We all know what happened uh, over the course of that chase format at that point. In 2020, he won three races in the first 12 races, so still pretty comparable. He and Kevin Harvick essentially went ahead and won half the season that year, and he made it to the championship race and promptly came in fourth. The guy just cannot close it out. He hasn't finished below fifth in points since 2018, so that's a really good run for him. Denny Hamlin's a Hall of Famer, but is this finally his year? I am not willing to bet that at the moment. 
people say so because he's won three races through the first 11. Yeah, well, so has William Byron, and people aren't like, this is William Byron's year. He's going to win. At the same time, when you look at Denny Hamlin's stats for this year, his three top five finishes have all been wins. He has four top tens. Three of those top tens were wins. So he's really hit or miss right now. And yeah, that 11 car does have a lot of speed. Obviously, at Texas, he had a top five car. Probably should have just finished second uh, at the end of the day. Ends up wrecking and uh, doesn't get that win. But man, there is still something missing from that team. Again, they're carrying all the speed in the world. But in his 19th full-time Cup Series season, is this finally the year he breaks through? I just don't think it is yet, or at least it's still too early to tell. Obviously, he has had great runs, but when you look at his finishes at Phoenix, when he does make it to the championship race, he has finishes of fourth, third, and then he didn't make the championship for the last two years and finished uh, both eighth place finishes in 2022 and 2023. I don't have that much faith in Denny Hamlin to get it done in a one race championship format. If you were like, hey, this is a championship format over the course of three races, I would maybe side with you and say that, yeah, he's probably a favorite at this point. Is he a favorite to make the championship four? Yes. I think you have to put him down as a favorite to make the champ four, along with William Byron, probably Kyle Larson. And that fourth one is a bit up in the air at the moment. Maybe Chase Elliott even uh, for as good as he's running. But for Denny Hamlin, to, for everybody to proclaim that this is Denny's year, I'm still not 100% sold on this being Denny's year just yet. I know there's a lot of Hamlin fans out there. There's a lot of people that don't like Denny Hamlin. And you can argue both sides of this at this point. But like I said, his three top 10 finishes have, or his three top five finishes have all been wins. And his four top 10 finishes, three of those have been wins as well. It's feast or famine right now for the 11 team. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with Danny Hamlin over the course of the rest of the season. How many wins does he get? I think he's probably between that five and seven win record. And I think William Byron's probably right around there as well. I think Byron might get between that six and eight, if we're being completely honest right now. But we'll have to wait and see where they're going. But for now, we know if you want to be a championship contender, being in a JGR or Hen Hendrick Motorsports car is certainly the place you want to be. So let me know in the comments what you think. Is this Danny Hamlin's year? Kevin Harvick to the five car. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.